Yes, hello today. Look, we've got the whatever cauliflower. Cauliflower's here. We're going to do it. We're going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. We haven't done certain things. So first things first, the first hurdle for you guys to do is beat the co-op. Now, there are, I would say, really only one effective way to do it. Because he is a blue character, you're going to want to use the purple that you've just acquired. So if you haven't soul boosted her, please do so. Next up, let's quickly just build her a team so that way you guys can see what you could basically use to help your, yourself out. Also, another thing is if you have the EX Red Cauliflower user. Now, you're maybe wondering, why the frig did you put like all EXs and then the SP? It's because no matter what I do, I'll be called a whale on the internet and there's nothing I can do about it. But for those of you that don't, you know, complain about stars for PVE, basically player versus the bots, because the bots can be exploited, super exploited. But for those of you that don't know, well, now you know. So, it means stars don't really matter. In fact, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to remove all my equips. Why? Because then people will say, you had S tier equips. That's why you won. I'm going to remove them. So, first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to remove all the equips, okay? Because I don't, I, I don't want to deal with that. You know, you, you can use your equips. I'm not going to. Second thing, thing that we're going to do for this co-op, we're going to pick all purples. Okay? And why are we doing that? I am specifically doing that to show you that there are other ways to boost your two-star cauliflower or one-star or zero-star cauliflower, whatever they give you, because I didn't really pay much attention to how many stars I got, but I know you get a thousand or maybe even more. I don't know, actually, because I haven't checked. Probably should have, but here we are anyways. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to find any purples that boost her. So this Chi-Chi, she boosts her. I'm going to take her, okay? This Tao, it boosts. I'll take him. Basically, I'm looking for boosts that power her attack up, okay? Both blast attack and strike attack, because I don't really care for the defense. Honestly, the defense don't matter. It really don't matter in the end of the day if you are trying to beat this event as fast as possible. Realistically, your Kale is going to save you, and you're going to want to take as little damage as possible. Now, let's take a look at some of these characters. You might not have these characters, but that's okay, as long as you have any purples, Literally hero units. In fact, actually, let me go and grab some hero units right now, okay? I'm going to filter out the extreme and, and the sparking just to prove my point, okay? Okay, so let, let's let's put this hero this hero dude in as long as he buffs the strike. He does. So we'll put him in, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, this Krillin, does he buff strike or blast? If he does, I'll put him in. No, he only does defense. I don't care for him in that case. How about this Jice? Does this Jice do anything for a strike or blast? Only Ginyu, so we can't use him. How about this cell? Does this cell do me any good? No, he just gives me critical. I don't care for that, so you don't want the critical. All right, let's take a look at this Goku. What does he give me? He gives me base blast attack. I'll take it, so I'll put him in. <clears throat> let's take a look at this Jiro. Critical. We don't care for that, so we're going we're gonna to ignore it. We're going to go for Cyberman. We're going to take a look what he boosts. Strike defense, so we don't care. So now we're going to move on to extremes because I don't want to actually, you know, use anything that would be outlandish because that would be too OP, of course. Of course, I, I, I know, I know, it's too OP. And if you're wondering, why do you have so many stars? Are you a whale? The answer is, no, not really. What, what, it's, it's just that I've been playing for a long time, so it kind of works out that way. But we are going to, we're going to do it. We're going to do it here so I can show you. Yeah, so I'll take this one, just because he buffs the strike attack at least. And if you have anything that can buff strike attack, go for it. Anyways, I am not going to be putting any equips on this. Like I said, we're going to go back to the event now, and we're going to go and beat the co-op with just this, okay? So I strongly recommend that you boost up your cauliflower with whatever purples you can off afford. And if it has to be defense, that's okay. If you have Saiyans that can buff up Saiyans, she also likes Saiyans. So if you have a Saiyan unit... If you have a purple unit that can buff purples, which is her. Uh, if you have girl units that can buff her, use them. That's, I, I don't know how else, I, I've literally gone on a rant at this point. Like for four minutes or five. So anyways, let's begin. We'll get in here. We'll just do it. In fact, I'm not even going to cut this out. I'm going to leave this download in here because at this point, I just need you guys to know <laughs> that this is done in like one go. <laughs> because this is ridiculous. 
I, I, I don't know what else to say other than like, watch this. Just, just watch because this has to happen. And another thing, uh, you want to do a couple of things. You want to time your rising rush with Kale. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure to save Kale when she's getting hit. The next thing after that is you're going to want to make sure that you are doing a little bit of a side before every attack. Now watch this. Kale will eventually save me. There you go. So, yes, this AI is a butt. So you just got to you got to make sure that you play this very very safe. Luckily Kale herself and also make sure to save her. So if you, if Kale's getting attacked, you save her. Don't 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 skimp out on that. She needs the help. Okay, I'm going to take some more damage. Kale's going to save me right back. And then we're going to give him the Kachow. See? And then we move on. Now, I would be doing a lot better if I had equips on, but it doesn't even matter. The point is, I'm just trying to show you guys that you don't need to do a whole lot to beat this type of event. All you really need is to practice. Okay? Here we go. And we're gonna we're gonna wait it out for one more round just so she can get her equips. I mean not her equips, you know what I mean. Her her rising rush. Now I'm hoping that we can stop. Oh, no, we can't stop him. He decided to go and kachow Kale. Now I hope Kale doesn't die. She does not die. So as you can see, Kale got hit, so we're gonna save her. So that way, Kale can revive her, uh, can heal herself, and all that other good stuff. Okay. And as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm going to the side. Why am I doing that? Is to get Re Vanish Gauge back. And we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do that again. Yup. And we're gonna do this, and we're just gonna wait for Kale. And once she does her rising, we do our rising. It's very simple like that. We're gonna pick Blast. Hopefully, if she picks Blast, she might pick Strike, but that's okay. She's going to literally do no damage, by the way. Kale does, like, literally nothing. So you're really going to want to put in all the effort. I say avoid Strike in case that, you know, God Ku decides to do anything dumb. But otherwise, you should be okay. Okay, we're going to take the damage. That's okay. And yes, stars do help in PvE. There's, there's no round about it. But what I am trying to say is that stars are not mandatory that's all i'm trying to say with that with what i what i say and then we're gonna finish it off and boom that's it that's the end of the fight so now we're gonna move on to the next thing which is who knows what there's so many things to cover in this so we're just gonna go through all of it and i'll see what i want to cut from here on out but what you do need to know is that this is doable yes is my cauliflower 14 stars absolutely but can you do this with lower stars? Yes, because otherwise they wouldn't make this event in the first place. It just means that you'll probably have to take multiple tries to do it. But good buffs go a long way, okay? For this, I'm not going to go into it again. I already completed it. But all you got to do is drift. You seriously only have to do the drift. If you don't know what the drift is, take a look at my advanced guide for the AI. It's in my channel. You can take a look at it there. Let's take a look at this one. We got to do this, okay? So, if you do not want to use your purple for this fight, you can always do the red. So, why don't we just cut out now, and I'll go back and show you with the red. All right, so let's begin. Let's do this, and let's show you. We're going to realistically only use the red, and the reason why is because, well, we didn't have much of a choice. So, uh, once again, if you're looking at what I'm doing and why the AI is not doing anything, it's because I'm using the drift. What that means is I'm just slightly pushing my finger forward. I'm not swiping. I'm just slightly pushing it up. I teach this in my AI guide. So if you guys want to beat the AI, just learn from that. Seriously. And there you go. That's that's how you do it. Boom, 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 boom. And if you have only a two-star EX red, good enough. Slap some equips on it. Go like, Wacha! just like your grandma beats your, your parents and how your parents beat you, and then you're good. Okay? That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Getting beat by the belt enough and you know exactly what you need to be doing in life, okay? So now we're going to move on to the final one and let's take a look at what it is. From what I can tell, my partner said that this is probably the hardest thing here, so let's try it. It's Ui. So what you need to know about Ui, you don't want to drop your combo until his Vanish Gauge is completed. Depleted. Not the not his regular Vanish Gauge, but his the one that you'll physically see. So let's take a look. Let's do the fight. 
I do believe you're allowed, like, what? Three characters or one character? I don't know. We're about to find out. So we're only allowed rival universe characters, which means you want to build a rival universe team or alternatively a universe six team. So if you don't have those, you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to filter. Now, obviously, I built this team to be mainly just girls. So we're going to do a uh, rebrand with these three. There you go. So cauliflower, two cauliflowers and a, and a fat tub of lard. That's pretty much it. Anyways, we're going to queue to the fight now and I'll see you there. All right, so we're here. Let's do it. No equips, just as I promised. Honestly, I might just leave in the part where I was going to cut out and just leave it in and put some elevator music over it because, like, honestly, nah, we're not going to cut. I want to show you guys that I can do this in one attempt. All right, so first things first, you're going to want to dodge. And then here, you're going to want to do your regular combos. Do not, and I repeat, do not try to drift against this boy right now. We're going to punch him out. We're going to switch over. And I messed up, so he's going to catch our first one in a combo and probably kill her off. And that's okay. All right, we're going to actually switch over because I, I want them to survive, if possible. And I messed up, so we're going to take the damage. There we go. That's okay. Here we go. Let's do it. We're going to ratata, followed by the blue card. Why are we doing the blue card? Just in case. Now we're going to do this. We're going to ratata. He's got a blue card that is really irritating. So we do not want to get baited by it. We're going to ratata. And then we're going to go in. And if he uses the blue card, it's too late. Okay, so no blue card. This is nice. So now we can do the drift. So as you can see, his darn wheel is gone. He does not have the wheel of fate anymore, which is nice. We like that. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to get up. We're going to do this. We're going to do double blast. And then we're going to go straight into the rising. All right, you might have to do a second rising, but that's okay. And then just go ka -chow. Here we go. We're going to pick Blast, and we're going to see what happens. So once again, no equipment, right? I'm using three characters. Can you beat this with one character? Realistically, yes. You, you definitely could. Uh, it would take forever, and I don't see the point. So <laughs> don't torture yourself. But definitely this is doable with one character. It just means that you got to play a little bit more uh, patiently, and less dumb like I was doing tr throughout this entire fight. Here we go. And then we're going to just charge up. We're going to do this. And then we're going to dodge because we don't want to die. Yep. That, that's, that's exactly why. Then we're going to attack. We're going to switch over. And give him the big ka-chow. Thank you. We're going to ratata. And we're going to give him the blast. We like blast because he can't actually deal with those. And then that's it. That's the fight. That was it. That, 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 that's all there was to it. It's, it's, it's not that difficult, but for those of you that do find it difficult, check out my advanced guide. It will cover the drift. If you still don't understand how to do the drift, even after that, practice. I mean, that's all I can really say. You, you just got to practice and make sure you're not swiping. Make sure you're just dragging. Like, you're, you're, you're dragging your thumb or your index finger or even your middle finger or ring finger or pinky finger or any finger or maybe your elbow if you're feeling extra spicy. But generally speaking, just don't swipe, please. Um, and th that's it. That's Yeah, that's, that's how you beat this event. And now everything is cleared and I feel not very complete. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't hesitate to tickle the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe and click the bell for more notifications so you never miss another one of my videos. Have yourselves a salty day, and I will see you in the next video.